Hey guys, Deco here. This is my easy minecart path selection system. So I have five destinations along this square and one main station over here. And um, on this main station, I can select a destination. So one of these five destinations by a number. And this number will also be displayed over here. So as you can see, I currently have station one selected. But let me just change that. So now it's four and then five or two. And um, let me just uh, go to station two. But well, let's just hop into the minecart and press this button. So as you can see, we ended up at station two. And um, let me just return because if I just press this button, I will return to the main station. But um, now let's just uh, try station station five. So let me just hop into my cart and press this button. And as you can see, we end up at station five. So I think this is very useful because the way this works is different than you would expect because you probably all know that this is not the the number of the station I'm going to. This is actually the level of XP I have. And if I um, just give it, just subtract 2 XP, so XP makes 2 L to 200, that'll make it 3. And then if I just make this return, then this will send me to station 3. So it's um, not depending on like if whether I press the button or not it depends on the level of XP I have and the way this works is I can use a command block to restrict the player with um, a certain amount of XP so here I have the command which it says test for player and then a bunch of restrictions so here's a, a coordinate then a radius and the level which is minimum 1 and maximum 3 so everybody no. Um, also, I have a, a clock here, so it will test for the player with that with those restrictions on that coordinate in that radius every about two ticks. And if it's if it if it um, if it returns true, this comparator will turn on. It will depower the torch and switch this track. So that means that the minecart coming from the main station will be will be um, sent over to the uh, stations 1, 2, and 3. And then obviously I have a few more come up blocks. I actually have four. One there, one there, one there, and one there. And um, I think this is very useful. And then for going back, I have this track here, which will just send me all the way along. And then over here I have the texture rail to switch this track here. And uh, so I don't return to station 4 but actually to the main station and also if I were to go to station 5 I would actually go to station 4 if I didn't change this track here so this detector changes both this track and this track but um yeah so one of the uses I came up with is for an adventure map where you would not use this selection system which actually works by command block, so I just first subtract, subtract 5,000 levels and then I give me the amount of levels I want so that'll just set it to zero and then I give me the amount of levels I want because if I press a new button, it'll actually, you'll see it, to, it go away so that means it was zero for one tick or something but um, yeah, so what I came up with is if you place slabs you, you guys probably know this, but if you place slabs on top of rails, you cannot escape the track in any way. So, if I just um, go to station 5, and uh, I just get on the track, and I get inside of my cart, I can't, in survival or adventure mode, I can't in adventure mode anyways, but in survival I would not be able to um, get rid of these blocks because they are it's too fast. My car's traveling too fast for me to break any of the slabs. 
And if I did break any of the slabs, I wouldn't be able to get out my cart because I, I was in the next lab already. So, I think that's very useful. And, um, so you could, if you were to hit level 100 or 105 or 100, I don't know, 90, then you would be able to be sent to a different station than you would before by just beating zombies and skeletons and whatever you want you have in that adventure map so I thought that was pretty cool and um, I thought I'd share, you, I'd share this with you guys so yeah if you like this please uh, rate it and um, I have a download in the description and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.